What up, friends? Como esta, mga kaibigan? It's A.N. Mike. What's good, everybody? We're currently in 38th Street. And what restaurant are we checking out? The Indian Project. The decor is out of this world. And we have really dope seats. Let's check it out. Typical A, we go somewhere, we know we're gonna like the food. She's willing to kind of risk it. I'm a comfort guy, I know what I like, I know what I'm gonna enjoy, but A tend to kind of be a little bit more risky in grabbing what she likes, and which is great for me as well because it takes me out of my comfort zone most of the time. Ooh, that looks good, thank you. So, lentil chips. Lentil chips. Call it popper. And then this one? So, meat chutney. Look how thin that is. And this chutney is so aromatic. You can taste the mint. Lemon or lime, I think. Wonderful. Knowing how this tastes, what's gonna happen next in the main course? Oh my god. Um. On the mixed platter, he's coming up right. right now, okay? So we're trying the chicken wings first, and like he said, this takes a while to cook. And it's just done in the, in the oven as well, it's not fried. It's so juicy. It's like a party in your mouth. Mike doesn't like it when the skin is not as crispy, but I like it that way. Let's dive into this. I know A is waiting for me to try this chicken, but I know exactly what I'm going for. And I'm gonna be using my hand, guys. Take a look at this shrimp. You can smell the spices, you know, coming from this shrimp. A lot of flavor on here. I feel like it's a little, a little heavy on the salt, a little bit. But I, the ideal way for you to eat these is to have a little bit of the rice as well. All the flavors that are combined or compact into this dish, you're kind of breaking it down between the rice itself and then the naan. Very good. I wanted the salmon, because I've never had salmon before in any restaurant. Let's cut into it. Look at that. It's still so bouncy, it's fatty too. It's actually marbled. Very flavorful. That tastes so good. I personally love salmon, cooked or not. Spices they have in here. And it's too bad, I don't know what it is, and I'm sorry I can't share with you. But I would definitely recommend getting salmon in any restaurant. I'm very picky when it comes to chicken wings and macaroni and cheese. People know that. Drumhead guy, of course. Really nice, actually. You have this with it as well. I've tasted that a little bit earlier. It has a kick. Just want to kind of dab a little bit on the chicken wing itself. I just broke my own rule, by the way. Usually, I taste it before anything, that way I can get an official taste to it. And I like that sauce from a little bit earlier. Let's, let's dive into this. So what these guys are doing with the chicken, very seasoned, was cooked for a long period of time. These vegetables you have here breaks the monotony of the well-seasoned chicken itself. It's almost like a palate cleanser as you're eating. Really, really good. This chicken itself killed the shrimp. If you could order one thing and only one thing, chicken wings. Now we're trying their chicken tikka. See how it was skewed? And usually when you order something like that, it takes a little longer to cook. Especially with chicken, chicken takes long to cook. And you want to make sure it cooks all the way. Chicken breasts usually tend to dry out, but this is not dry at all. Delicious, guys. I just dove into the salmon, and I'm telling you, this bite is out of this world. The salmon so far, I mean, I was really raving about the chicken wings a few minutes ago. The salmon, it's so buttery. The flavors are actually on the outside. It's almost like a crisp with the flavor, and it just melts. It's, it's, I can't even explain it. That's why I get the salmon. It's chicken. Try that now. Chicken's very smoky. Again, it's not going to be your softest piece of chicken. This is chicken breast, from what I'm assuming. It's very good. Not my top thing here, but it's still very good, yeah. One thing you guys have to know, if you haven't had Indian food before, there's so much flavor packed into it, it's not going to be a simple dish. If you're not accustomed to having these type of spices, it may affect you in a sense where you have to try to go easy and try some of the things that are less heavy marinade and more simple. Today we didn't do any of the curries because that's something Mike and I always do. We always get the sag paneer or the chicken vindaloo which is heavily sauce based. Today we tried something different and tried clay oven type style and this is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. So we just left the Indian project unexpectedly. I don't, never thought I'd be saying to get salmon. The salmon was out of this park really really good very tender it just melts in your mouth uh, if you only have one budget for one thing you could have go salmon if not if you're not a fish kind of guy go to chicken wings those are the top two you yep. want to go for how about you the salmon was absolutely delicious if i could just have gotten that i would have 
but I decided to do the sampler. And you, it's a good thing though doing that because then you get you like the shrimp too, right? The shrimp was yeah, the shrimp good, was pretty good. But the salmon was. Ah. Also, they do run a buffet from 10 to what? 11 to 3. 11 to 3. Thank you so much for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. We're looking to get another 1,000. So share the video, subscribe, have a friend subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Down below. And let me know if you've ever been to Indian Project before. Or even had Indian food. Yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuce. Bye. Bye. Thank you. What are mango lassies for you? I don't know. <laughs> I believe mango lassie has coconut milk in it, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys know, can you please put it in the comment section below? I would love to know, because these are the type of drinks that I like making at home.